a guide to life in Los Angeles through a Latino prism. Then pack it, roll it, and enjoy it the good old-fashioned way. Plus, trick your ride. This is Louis Vuitton. This is Gucci. And chic home furniture. This and much more next on Vista LA. But for now, let's look at a Los Angeles magazine that's exploring and celebrating all things Latino with a mission to provide the reader with nothing less than the integrity and respect for the Latino culture. Well, to see that, uh, which means your city. I wanted to make sure that you knew that this was something that was for you. Latinos have something to celebrate over some fresh coffee, a glass of wine, or your chosen cup of tea. Tu Ciudad is a new magazine taking it up a notch for Latinos living in Los Angeles. That we're not just a variety show or a parody on TV, that we are sophisticated, we have evolved, and that there is something to be said about what we're doing and how we're impacting the city. A magazine for people who are equal part American, equal part Latino. We are an English. We are an in-culture magazine that celebrates the diversity, and we put Latinos in that mainstream limelight the way they deserve to be. The city of Los Angeles itself is a focus. We just give it that Latin influence in a very positive way. We celebrate the diversity of Latinos, which is what LA is about. Tu Ciudad highlights and embraces Latinos' unique backgrounds without compromising their American identity. Much of what we do is Mexican or Mexican-American. Los Angeles has huge Central American population, pretty significant Caribbean population, and I think that's reflected throughout the magazine. The idea to create a mainstream magazine became a reality in part by Jaime Gamboa, the founder and publisher of Tu Ciudad. I saw a need because I'm native to Los Angeles and I thought there's a lot of great magazines in the market, but there isn't a magazine like Essence that represents Latinos. And it was very important for me to not only begin a magazine in LA because of it makes sense. We have a very unique way of representing ourselves through the colors, through the history, through the music, through the fashion. There's so many things that keep us young. We start to transcend the age group. We try to make it a mix of something lighthearted, something humorous, something really serious. You know, we do real journalism at this at this magazine. Editor-in-chief Oscar Garza believed in the mission of Tu Ciudad so much that he took a risk. Oscar left a prestigious position at the Los Angeles Times, where he worked as an editor overseeing one of the leading arts and entertainment sections in the United States. I worked at the Los Angeles Times for about 16 years and got a message one day from Angelo Figueroa, who was doing the hiring for the uh, editor-in-chief of the magazine. So when this fell in my lap, there was no way I was going to pass it up. The magazine offers a style section and a dining guide. The last page of our dining guide is sort of a guide to food other than Latino in Los Angeles. And that page is called Because Man Does Not Live by Beans Alone. Tu Ciudad provides readers with more than celebrity profiles and gossip. For example, this feature on ABC primetime star Eva Longoria focused on her commitment to Padres Contra el Cancer, a charity close to her heart. And in this feature titled The Tijuana You Oughta Know, which spotlights TJ in a positive manner. You try to make a quick emotional connection with readers. Every letter that we get in has been nothing but, you know, I really appreciate the way you're representing us and that this is who Latinos are. Definitely a page turner. Tu Ciudad publishes every other month. For more information on the magazine, you can log on to our website at abc7.com. Coming up, two Latinos fueled by passion, and later, kiss your cigar.